history and legends of my oldest ancestors of whom I am very proud descending. The Legend of Gaia The Legend of King Ramiro II of Leo, my 28th grandfather, 26 times my grandfather, and the Moorish Princess Artiga, Aldara ibn Zayda, my 28th grandmother, 24 times my grandmother. Ramiro II, King of Leo, was born in 900, died in 965, he was the son of Ordonjo II, King of Leo and Dona Elvira Mendes de Portugali, paternal grandson of Afonso III, King of Leon and Dona Jimena Garces de Pamplona, and maternal grandson of Hermana Gildo Guterres, Count of Portugali and Dona Ermacinda Gatones de Vierzo. Ramiro II of Leon was King of Leon from 931 to 951. The Legend of Gaia The Legend of King Ramiro and the Moorish Princess Artiga an ancient legend that dates back to the 10th century tells that King Ramiro II of Leo fell in love with a beautiful blue-blooded Moor, sister of Alboza Albacadam, Moorish king who owned the lands that went from Gaia to Santarem. Influenced by his passion and with the intention of asking the Moorish woman to marry him, Ramiro decided to establish peace with Alboza, who received him in his palace in Gaia. Despite already being married, Ramiro thought it would be easy to obtain the annulment of his marriage due to the relationship between him and his wife Dona Yaraka Sanchez de Pamplona. Alboza flatly refused, he would never give his sister in marriage to a Christian and, in any case, she was already promised to the king of Morocco. King Ramiro, vexed, seemed to accept the refusal, but asked the astrologer Arman to study the stars to decide the best time to kidnap the princess and manage to take her with him on the appropriate date. Realizing his sister was missing, Alboza, completely irate, still arrived in time to find the Christians embarking at the Gaia Pier. A struggle ensued that was favorable to the Christian king, who took the Moorish princess to Leon, baptized her and gave her the name Artiga, which both meant punished and taught and endowed with all goods. Alboza, to take revenge, kidnapped King Ramiro's legitimate wife, Dona Yaraka, along with her maids. When King Ramiro learned of the kidnapping, he became mad with rage and, together with his son and some vassals, set sail for Gaia. Once there, Ramiro disguised himself as a beggar and went to a fountain where he found one of Dona Yaraka's maids from whom he asked for some water, taking the opportunity to surreptitiously pour half of a precious stone into the water container, of which the queen owned the other half. Recognizing the jewel, Dona Yaraka sent for the king disguised as a beggar and, in revenge for her infidelity, handed him over to Alboza. Feeling lost, King Ramiro asked Alboza for a public death, cunningly hoping to gain time so he could warn his son through the sound of his hunting horn. Upon hearing the agreed signal, the king's son rushed with his men to the castle and together they killed Alboza. Taking Dona Yaraka and her maids to his boat, King Ramiro, blinded by rage at his wife's betrayal, tied a stone millstone to the queen's neck and threw her into the sea in a place that became known as Foster Ancora. It is thought to be the current VR prior de Ancora. King Ramiro returned to Leo where he married the Moorish princess, Artiga, from whom he had a vast and noble descendant and from whom he descended several times. Biography Ramiro II of Leon was responsible for the coalition of the forces of Navarre, Leon, and Aragon against the Muslims, having defeated in the Battle of Simancas, in 939, the armies of the Umayyad Caliph Abdurrahman III. This victory allowed the Kingdom of Leon, for the first time, to consolidate the border south of the Duro Valley line. In the last years of his reign he was unable to prevent the easternmost mark of his kingdom, Castile, from being established as an independent county, under the direction of Count Ferneo Goncalves, grandson of King Garcia I of Leon through female means. In 950 he launched a new military expedition against the Moors, defeating them at Tolliver de la Reina. Youth Ramiro, still a small child, was entrusted with educating Diogo Fernandez and his wife, a powerful family that owned vast territories in the Duro region and later also in the Mondego River Valley. These territories were the center of a repopulation nucleus grouped around the policy created around the still child Bermudo Ordonias. Ramiro II is still of particular importance for Portuguese history, he is the first king to call himself, albeit for a brief period of time, between 925, still in disputes with his brother Afonso IV, and 931, a year after ascending to the throne of King of the Land of Portugalense, full recognition of the existence of a Land of Portugalense, 
which had already been established since 868, with the conquest of Vimara Perez and the formation of his Condal house at the head of its destinies. Ramiro II married four times. From my first marriage to Dona or Senda Guterres de Coimbra, my 32nd grandmother, 22 times my grandmother, the following were born. Ordonho III, King of Leon, my 32nd grandfather, 21 times my grandfather, married Dona Yaraca Fernandez of Castile, married Dona Munia Sanchez from Pamplona, and later married Dona Elvira Pais Doza, my 32nd grandmother, 21 times my grandmother. Dona Teresa Ramirez, Infanta de Leon, married Garcia III Sanchez, King of Pamplona, my 31st, 32nd and 34th grandparents. Dona Velasquita Ramirez de Portugali, married Bermudo II, King of Galicia and Leo, my 31st grandparents, 21 times my grandparents. From my second marriage to Dona Yuraka Sanchez from Pamplona, my 34th grandmother, 20 times my grandmother, the following were born. Sancho I the Fat, King of Leo married Teresa Anchores, my 33rd grandparents, 20 times my grandparents. Dona Elvira de Leo. From the third marriage with Artiga, Aldara ibn Zayda, my 28th grandmother, 24 times my grandmother, who was the daughter of Zaydan ibn Zayd, grandson of the 7th Emir of Cordoba, an arrogant from Arix, were born. Alboaza Ramirez, married Helena Godens, my 27th grandparents. Lavacendo Ramirez, asterisk 940, married Zaira ibn Zayda, his maternal aunt, who my 30th grandparents, 21 times my grandparents. From the fourth marriage with Onega of Gaia, my 29th grandmother, 23 times my grandmother, daughter of Zaham Zada, Lord of Gaia, was born. Godinho das Asturias, Count of Asturias, married. My 28th grandparents, 23 times my grandparents.